Hi everyone, it's me, Christy Handog. Welcome to my art critic video presentation. For today's video, I will be critiquing one of the paintings of Juan Luna. His full name is Juan Luna de San Pedro y Novicio Ancheta. He was a famous and great Filipino artist, painter, sculptor, and also a political activist of the Philippine Revolution during the late 19th century. I will be critiquing his one of his romantic painting entitled Tampuhan. What do I see? From what we see or observe by looking at the picture, there are two persons or shall we say the lovers in the living room of that house. These two people are actually Filipino lovers who are experiencing sulking or in Filipino tampo. It is because of having an argument and misunderstanding. We also identify that it's a historical Filipino romance era because of these Filipino lovers and by looking at their costumes which are the Filipino national costumes of a Filipino man and a Filipina woman and also their houses are made of woods and bamboo. Tampuhan or sulking in that painting of Juan Luna depicts a Filipino man and a Filipina woman having a lover's quarrel. We also see that this Filipino couple by that window who very seems to be at odds with one another. How is the work organized? Tampuhan meaning sulking is an 1895 classic oil on canvas impressionist painting by Filipino painter and hero Lu Juan Luna. The elements of the painting are having the texture on it, its color, the value itself, the form, the shape, and the space on it. The principle of the painting is one having the unity to make the couple reunited after experiencing sulking. The focal point itself, its contrast, and the proportion of the painting. From what I have discovered, Rosalinda Orosa, the owner of the painting, and according to her, the man in the painting is Ariston Bautista Lin, who is a friend of Juan Luna who studied medicine in Europe. Then Orosa said that the woman in the painting is Emiliana Trinidad, who is the ancestor of the owner of the painting. The painting was detailedness of every part of the paint and the mixture of the colors, especially the reflection in the floor, window, the chair, and the trees outside. The painting also shows the design of a house in 1895, which is consists of windows made from copies, a detailed balustrade, a highly polished floor, and a Vienna chair. If you will notice, there is only one shade of color that was used by Lona in this painting, the shade brown except on the black cloth on the waist of the woman, the frame of the chair, and the red flag-like object and the window in front. In a contrast, according to Emilio Aguilar Cruz, who is an artist, writer, editor, and art critic, the lover's quarrel in the painting is not the subject. He said that the subject is a special occasion or a fiesta where there is a procession outside being watched by the men and the other ladies in front of their house. He added that the red cloth on the window or balcony of their neighbor is a sign of having an event. What is the art saying? It shows a depiction of a Filipino couple in that house. The man in the painting looking out on the street from the balcony, while the woman on the other hand is focusing her eyes on the floor. These Filipino couples are rich because of their formal attire and you can see the floor of the living room is polished mahogany wood. 
The couple in this painting shows an uncommunicative mood because the man is looking outside while the woman is behind the man looking at the floor. If you notice that the man is looking at the woman in the window in front of him, this says that if the woman sitting on the chair will not remove her tampo, the man will look for another woman. This also implies that during the late 80s, men was more dominant than women in terms of a relationship. Is this a successful work of art? I can say that this painting of Juan Luna is very relatable, especially to the couples out there. It seems that we can't argue the fact that women would feel odd if they see their men watching or just looking at the women out there. Not just having a tampuhan between a couple experiencing that, but also it's a test of their relationship to become stronger, faithful, and sincere. Even if that man or woman can encounter any guy or a girl, just like in the painting whose the man is staring other women in the sad occasion or fiesta. I can say is that this work of art is a quite impressive, especially to those people having a relationship and it's a successful masterpiece for me because it showcases a true love of a woman of her partner. And we can really say that having a tampuan of a relationship is normal.